Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some outstanding foods. They're called Pig Out. Uh, I have the, uh, they're uh, pigless bacon chips. I have the original and the cheddar. Uh, Kansas City barbecue and Chipotle. These were sent to us from Pam and Steve, so thank you very much to Pam and Steve. And they bought them at a market we don't have here. It's called Basler's Market. I don't know if I, I'm even pronouncing it right because because I've never heard of it. Um, but we there's nothing on the bag at all that gives an address or tells where these are made. So we had to do some digging on their website, and they're made in uh, Venice, California. Basically, they're vegetable based. They're plant based. Yeah chef crafted plant-based it says outstanding foods was founded to create uh, tasty plant-based foods that everyone can love how do we make our product so full of flavor and free of guilt we keep it real with pure wholesome ingredients and nothing artificial or from animals to top it off every product is skillfully prepared for you by renowned chef dave anderson with his proprietary chef crafted methods Chef Dave won't let anything leave his kitchen until it tastes absolutely outstanding. They, um, it says you can snack from the bag or add to your favorite recipes. So you can add it to BLT, salads, mac and cheese, avocado toast. Um, how do we make our pig out chips taste like crispy bacon? Pig out chips are made with majestic mushrooms, which are carefully cooked and seasoned to create an authentic bacon taste. Chef Dave adds a pinch of his signature alchemy and just a touch of smokiness for a highly satisfying flavor you won't find anywhere else, all without harming a single pig. The result is a completely outstanding plant-based chip that tastes ridiculously good, and since it has none of the bad stuff, you can pig out and never feel guilty. So this is the, uh, it, they're www.pigoutchips.com. Uh, these are the original. They it says one ounce is 160 calories, and there's three and a half servings these are in all, the container. They're all 160 calories. They're cholesterol free. So they're made out of mushrooms, basically. Yes. Okay. I like a mushroom. <laughs> they have a very they smell like a, strong smell. They smell like a pork rinds. They're softer than what a pork rind would be. I'm gonna be honest. I think they taste better than they smell. Yeah. I hate to say it too, though. I, I think they're okay. I like but that. The aftertaste is an old grease flavor. Oh, they are. They're. They are like. Yes. But it tastes like old grease, like oil that's that's been in the fryer too long. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's been used for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and it's gotten scorched and burned, and it has that. Kind of weird flavor to it. That's the aftertaste on the spike I, like I like the, the flavor smokiness of, of them. I like the flavor of those. Yeah, they. Um, and I can understand where they would be convincing as a, a substitute. Yeah. This is a cheddar. I mean, if I wanted them, I would just eat regular bacon. Oh, these are much crisper. Are they? Because those are kind of soft. Yeah. The original were pretty these, soft. These are pretty soft. Oh, you thought so? Mm -hmm. I think these are crisper than the first ones. Mm hmm But I do get that cheddar flavor. I do too, but I don't like that aftertaste. I understand what you're saying. Oof. It is different. But I tell you what, I think if you're plant-based, if you're vegan, I really think you and would And you really be, want that flavor? Yeah, I think you would be happy with these. I, I, I do. Yeah, because you're used to eating that. Yeah. <laughs> you're used to eating stuff that doesn't taste This like is the Kansas City barbecue. Yeah, I, like I don't mind the, the flavor while I'm eating them. It's just it, it, there's a very strong, old grease, bitter aftertaste. And you know I love bitter foods. You know if you watch the channel at all, you know I love bitter stuff. I'll be surprised if you don't like this. I like the cheddar flavor in the cheddar ones, mm. and I like this barbecue. The barbecue covers up some of that flavor. Mm-hmm. And to me, these are crisp. I really like the barbecue flavor. It They're reminds bad. me of the same barbecue flavoring that they use in a barbecue Lay's potato chip. It's yeah. that same flavor. It's better. It still has that bitter The same taste. seasoning. It still has that same aftertaste. And these last ones are the Chipotle. Yeah, I think it's just the chips themselves are just going to have that flavor. They're just, yeah, they're just because it's the mushrooms. Yeah. I think they've all pretty much had the same texture. They're fairly soft. They're crunchy, but then they're soft too. 
These are super soft. Or at least the one I got was. Oh, tastes much anything with those. Do you? No. I'm waiting for it. Hmm. Not really how much of anything. Chipotle should have a, a little bit of spice, a little bit of heat, and uh, be smoky. You have smoky pepper. I don't get, I don't get any flavor from that hard at all. Now, the originals were more flavorful than that. We saved these for last, um, and honestly, and maybe if we had tried them before the barbecue, the barbecue had a really uh, strong barbecue. Try the originals again, though. They have more flavor than those. That's odd, isn't that it? That is weird. Because you would think Chipotle would have some flavor to it. Well. Because I thought that would be the boldest one. I like these. I think they're good. Now, I know you, you did. I do not like You would pass on them. Uh, they are uh, very greasy tasting, though. Mm -hmm. They just are. And they, so, they have a bitter aftertaste. Like I said, that's the part I don't like. They remind me of uh, just if you want to compare them to something else. If you were going to make uh, uh, fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. and you sliced them really, really thin, and you deep fried them in oil, that's what these remind me of, the yeah. texture of them, because they are very, uh, incredibly greasy. But I like greasy food. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. And, and honestly, that's a good uh, comparison, because it kind of is that same texture. It's got mm -hmm. a little bit of, a, it's got a little crunch to it, but it's also yeah. very, very soft too. Yeah. Um, you and, wouldn't know that you were eating a mushroom, put it that no. way. No, and if you were to cook them in really old oil, like you had this oil in your refrigerator and it's been used over and over and over again, that's kind of that bitter aftertaste I'm getting. So you just wouldn't eat them again? Like I said, I like the initial flavor fine. Right. I don't like the aftertaste. Well, my favorite out of all four was the uh, Kansas City barbecue. 100%. I really like that barbecue flavor, and like I said, it's the same seasoning that that uh, that you would get on like a Lay's barbecue potato chip. Mm -hmm. It would remind you of the same thing. a sweet barbecue. But I the Chipotle or something, I wouldn't even buy again because they don't have any flavor. Um, but I would buy the barbecue, then the originals, and probably the cheddar last. And like I said, these I wouldn't even consider. I'll, I'll agree with you. I'll go with that. Because the cheese was kind of funky on top of funky. So. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll, go, I'll go with that. But I, I, I truly think if you're plant-based anyway yeah. and you haven't tried these, I would totally try these. Oh, I, yeah. I, if, you're, if you're a vegetarian or you want plant-based and you don't you know, want any pork or pig, uh, definitely try them. Yeah. So uh, thank you very, very much to Steve and Pam. We appreciate it getting to try these because I've never seen them around mm -hmm. here before. They're very unique. Uh, so I'll have a picture for you all at the end. I'll probably just take a picture of one pile of them because they all look Pretty the same. Much the same. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. <laughs>